I mean, you're you're away from your computer. I mean, this, you even said like this is yeah. you're in LA, so. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. Is it? It's up right now. I just started mm-hmm. doing it. Okay, hold on. Let's yeah, it's back. It's back. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> just give it a second. So, yeah. I was gonna refresh. Give it a sec. Give it a minute, please. Sorry, I do apologize for these delays. Yep, just refresh the page. It'll be back. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. We're good. Okay, Indian, continue on. Hello. Um. Yeah. So you guys partake in Grandma's Werther's Originals. Nice. Gain <laughs> ten HP. Mm. Uh, you are now immune to uh, poisons, disease, and frightening effects, and you gain advantage on all Wisdom saving throws. And as she spreads out this platter, there is a variety of different foods. There's cheeses, there's wine, there's there's fruits and vegetables, there's an entire turkey, and inside the turkey is a chicken, and inside the chicken is a duck. Oh my god. Yeah! The... A turkey! Hold on, hold on, hey, hold, on and... hold on, hold on. Hear me out here, Crackles. Eat that entire thing. There'd be four birds. I'll do my best, big guy. That's I just go down on the birds. If you eat birds, inside it, the duck. If, if you eat birds, is it cannibalism? No, I'm a different species. Does that mean I as you eat slice you? into the turducken, you also find that inside of the duck is a quail. It just keeps going. Oh. It just keeps going and going. Uh, the druid partakes in the feast. It, it, she acts very odd. She seems to be enjoying the company, but also at moments seems a little bit disturbed by the company. You get the sense that she's been alone for a long time. And this is kind of new to her, but she kind of likes it, but it's also very weird. You okay, see, so, so... You with, see with Marn. A, with, a, with a big old wad of, like, turducken quail in... <laughs> as, I didn't expect us to do. <laughs> yeah, we get down a lot. That's disgusting. She wipes. B- B- Borky t- drinks an entire goblet of wine and goes, coughs. <clears throat> You're disgusting. <laughs> uh, she wipes the turducken from her cheek that you spittled out. And she goes, no, this is not quite what I expected my day was going to be like. Crackers, by the way, you should apologize. For, lot. You should apologize for stabbing it twice. You know. I do apo- just to still with food in his mouth because he just doesn't care. I do apologize for throwing two darts at you. I oh, didn't know what to expect. I saw eyes. <laughs> no, it's just, just can you, it just mean, can you ever tell what's going on in the wild? I'm so sorry. I mean, can you play? I'm sorry. It's very nice of you to say that. You're good. You're, you're very. Po- I'm sorry. Do not worry, my friend. Your darts br- were that of the sting of a mosquito to me. Ha ha ha! Borky laughs and points at Grackles. Ha 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 ha! Keep uh, laughing, bud, because there wasn't any poison in those. Just keep it up. So it was a real beef thing. No, it's one, th- wild, it's one, it's one thing. These we- idiots are mm. doing this. Task is gonna take a, a very sizable chunk of meat and make sure Taurus gets some too, so hopefully he'll get the benefits. Uh, Taurus does. Yeah! I'll add 10 HP oh, yes. to his... That's good. Health pool. There we go. Um, she, she smiles and she kind of looks at Taurus and she goes, You do realize you have an accursed beast with you, do you not? I beg your pardon? That thing was summoned by ritual. Oh god. For a second Task I thought you were referring to Task looks at Taurus, looks at his whistle. Are you wait, are you saying this creature is that of a summon? In a sense, it was born of a ritual. I have seen such things before in ancient pasts when the Task- dragon cultists would call through these lands. Task's ears peer per- his ears and his tail peek up and his eyes widen. Okay, so thank you for letting me know I now have the equivalency of a demigod to my people. Uh, demigod, more like a guard oh dog. Oh my god, there's like two demigods today. It's too many. It's way too many. <laughs> to my to my people, dragons and anything that anything of the larger scale of Drake, Dragon, or what have you is considered very, very high in religion. 
This, if and I if I was to walk into an entire clan with this thing next to me, oh boy, it's like me saying, "Hey, everyone, I'm a dragon." You've not been on this land that long, have you? No, our city was in the. Well, our clan was in the Underdark. I see. No, I don't. would keep wise to what dragons you befriend here. Oh, trust me. I know full well of that. That's the whole reason I'm on this stupid little quest. Uh, okay, As can you I, guys eat. Go ahead, sorry. Can I say something, guys? Orky says, putting down his fourth goblet of wine. <sighs> you gotta roll a constitution save. You're drinking that much, buddy. Okay, I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, not, I'm joking right now. I'm not actually trying to. <laughs> just... We'll be hanging out for a couple of days here. And I met you at that farm, and it was nice. Honestly. I didn't even intend to come to this land. I just want you to know if we all die today, shit, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Holds up his goblet and has a swig. Uh, oh. here, here, I guess. I'll pose <clears throat> to that. <laughs> dying spectacles, friends. Not, dying sucks. <sighs> I can't die yet. Someone has to before I do. And I'll oh, be no. completely honest, I would sooner turn tail and leave you all behind before I met my maker this day. Oh, of course you would. As you guys clink the glasses, the feast disappears back into the earth. The bottles, the goblets, no, all the, the, what's back. left of the turducken come all back, returns poop. back. Anything you guys would have grabbed to stuff in your pocket is also gone, although I doubt any of you did that. You now have the effect for 24 hours. So it's advantage, advantage, I'm sorry, just one quick second. It's advantage to wisdom, immune to fear, poison, and what? Disease. Uh, disease. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, before we head off, uh, and he turns to, uh, what is this lady's name again? Did, did we ever catch her? We never that? asked. We never got her name. Uh, what, is, <laughs> what is your name, by the way? My name is Raul. That's really Raul. sexy. Hmm. Raul. No matter how much you praise me, Orc, you will still have to repay my debt. You said you saw people like me in there, correct? Still have any people? Wait, no, I didn't. The giant did. Sorry, oh. you got me confused. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. She cocks her head and goes, "I don't. I think you're the first tiefling I've seen in." Probably at least 1,500 years. Then what about demons or devils? Have you, you, the giant said it's, uh, the giant king said it saw some people that looked like me in there. Well, if demons are involved, I mean no offense by this, but to my knowledge, tieflings are the descendants of demons. Perhaps there is some mild semblance to be had. All right. She puts her hand on your shoulder, panic. And um, the look in her eyes, it's sort of grandmotherly in a way. She squeezes your shoulder and goes, it does not matter what form you take, the choices that you make that define who you are. I know that. Oh. It's just... Oh, that's nice. Ne mm -hmm. Never mind. It's, it's not important. I... Oh my god, it got shown in here. Yeah, ta Task, Task kind of like giggles to himself, but like hits Borky on the side of his elbow and asks him to lean down so he can whisper in his ear. Next time we see Rivy, we should say that to her when everyone says something about her goat legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Raul, she steps back and she goes, go, now. It is your chance to strike. The bird is weakest when it's at its nest. Good luck. Tess salutes, stands up straight, bows his head, leans over to look towards uh, Tarisk, and let's be off. Borky, before May you leave guide your path uh real quick um uh Rao, quick question yes I, I should not take that sword right it's best not to you sure trifle with the dead in these lands uh, it's just it's a nice sword you know so come on oh, i'll go i'll go i'll go i'll go i'll go my god man you have three weapons strapped to your back how now much you, more do you, you need you never can have enough you never know I'll have a goal one day. One day I want to have enough weapons. And I tie a strap around it, right? And I just take the strap and I throw it up in the air. And then as the weapons all come down, I just 
grab a punch and smack a guy with it. I do have a question for you. Uh, as we're walking, I want to ask this question. I do have a question for you, Reckles, now that you're not hidden away out of plain sight that I could do this. <laughs> if you're that – if you're so that stricken with the idea that if something goes south that you want to be out of here, why are you on this quest? You're not going to get the answers out of me that easy. But can – I... Can I get a small can I get a small notch of an idea? Let's just say, like all of us, we all have something in it for ourselves. Something that makes you have to go into the city. My quest is rather unique, but it's better you not know. Well, put it this way. If we make it through this and we actually get inside those damn walls, I could use someone like you to help me out in my ideas. We'll talk later. Forky As Rule walks, fades Forky, out as... Porky walks uh, past. Oh, we won't if we die. Oh, by the way, I'm in it for the money. And Porky kind of tr tr tromps along. Oh, God. Raul disappears from sight um, behind a root of the mother tree. And you guys set out into the wood. And you walk. And the monolithic structure gets larger and larger and larger. Soon you stand in the shadow of it. Eventually... You find a set of large stairs leading into the building. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> and surprisingly, you find there's a set of smaller stairs as well. And you notice similar runes like the ones you saw in the cavern with Rivi that you, you found the warning of where Ron fault. Hmm. The fact that there are smaller stairs with bigger stairs means that at least they coincided with something smaller. Uh, you realize upon examining these runes that they're dwarven in make, and the stairs kind of small. Dwarfs. <laughs> Not the biggest fans of giants. Wait a minute. They're in the Scott. Sky dwarfs? Scorves. Let's not ask too many questions. Scarves. Okay, M money. Uh, what's what's our surroundings like? Is it literally just the staircase, or are there things around? Or there are large pillars that rise up about sixty feet into the air and are about twenty feet thick. There are. It's basically like um, more square in nature with sort of rounded embellishments, like strips of long runic quotes going around. Are there some places I can duck into as we progress? Uh, there's a large open front doorway as well as a few other areas where it looks like it would be stationed for maybe some soldiers. Mm -hmm. um, there are shadows that you could definitely take advantage of if you wanted right. to. Okay. You manage to find the shadows, which is very easy for such a large structure, and you manage to make your way in through the main door. And as you enter, the ceilings are absolutely colossal. They're like 40, 60 feet high in the air, made of smooth white stone, cut and shined to a pristine color. And Greckles, as you look your way in, you find yourself into the main hall of the structure, and you see something, something familiar. You see a plethora of tapestries hanging from the stone wall, and you notice one of them is torn. Hmm. And you're able to recollect the tapestry that Meredith let you read. Interesting. But all the all of the others are still intact? They're all there. They show depictions of grand victories over dragons and, and drinking happily with friends and, and old kings. There's a line of just old depictions of giant kings. Can I make a perception check to see if I can actually see who is with, like, what is depicted in the torn tapestry? Yeah, go ahead. You see cut-off words from where it was cut off for you, and you see the tip of a blade that you recognize aligns perfectly. Other than that, it's whatever was at the bottom is completely lost and whatever was at the top was of very little use. Ah. 
interesting. But how in the world did she get her hands on it? How, how just refresh my memory because it's been a while out of character. How long has that woman had the tapestry? She only had it for, uh, I don't think she ever mentioned it actually. Mm, okay, never mind then. Yeah, no, she never mentioned it. Okay. Are, are, am I really far away from the guys or can I convey this information? Depends on what the guys are doing behind you. Are you guys Bloody... following Greckles? Or are you guys standing near the entrance? Borky, or... Borky's, Bor Bork, Borky is, is currently looking at the art. Like He's favoring the line. It's good. It's good art. It's a good art right there. Uh, task, is, uh, task is just going to survey the area. You might want to jump in the shadows with me, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, here's... Okay. Tarisk, stay with... Stay with Borky and Panic. I'm jumping in the shadows. As you blow the whistle, it lets out a little toot that echoes the large chamber. Haunting, a haunting noise. And Taurus bows his head and sits next to Borky, who is currently, has his, his finger on his chin. It's like, hmm, ah, at the, uh, the different tapestries. It's too minimalistic. <laughs> Just and about this it. is why I got rid of that thing. There's no flay, you know. It's like so. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep moving up. Yeah. Trying to to scout ahead a little bit, but I want to definitely keep an eye out for any sort of ancient traps uh, or any other uh, magical or otherwise. Just let me know what I need to do. Oh, okay. Boy. Well, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. You you try and stealth, but it's white stone. You're bright red. It's not really working out too hot. It's it's all right. If I have to be the target, so be it. At least Greckles is there in hiding. Borky's uh, walking kind Greckles... of in front very carefully. Mm -hmm. Borky's taking his time, just kind of surveying the room. Greckles, and actually all of you, now that you've entered this chamber, it should not be this nice. It's it really... looks as if there's been a cleaning crew no, it in here the whole time, having it shined, having it polished, having the floor swept. The only thing that you see of any sort of semblance of dirt is the odd leaf blown in from the outside. And you do notice, Greckles, looking up, you see on one of the um, archways that, that acts like a window, you see a nest of birds currently making a bit of a fuss. Um, I'll slowly wait, make my way over and just keep my eyes and ears out for anything that might be coming or there. Okay. It looks a lot like uh, the little lady's place. You know, all shiny. I'm just gonna... very, very quietly, I'm just gonna whisper. Be calm. Be still. Something is here. Orky yeah. stops. Exhales. Be on your guard. I have no idea what's coming. All I'm right. just gonna go see what's rustling. What, what's causing the rustling? All right, I'm going to get as far as I can on the archway as, like, as quietly as possible and just have my fucking bow at the ready. As you guys sit in tents, like, ready-to-react motions, the birds fuss, 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 and then you see a mother bird land and feed the squawking chicks, oh. who then silence. Oh, it's just birds. That's <sighs> what the birds like. All right, well, let's keep moving carefully. All right, well, here are my shit rolls for the night. Wait, uh, uh, <laughs> Better get them out of the way now. Yeah, my, my patented shit rolls. <laughs> oh, um, vintage Zito. <laughs> you guys progress forward, your footsteps echoing clank, 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 over the almost marble-like stone floor. In oh, fact, um, Taurus makes, like, it sounds like a dog, like, on hardwood floor. <laughs> and as you guys are walking, you suddenly catch something red beneath your feet as you see almost like steam rising up. Remnants of the red mist now oozing from parts of the stone, cleaning away the dirt, cleaning away the age. And you notice a set of footsteps of the same red mist leading forward into a chamber. I think he so went this the... way. So that's how the bastard did it. God, who sells their soul for this? Apparently him. Greckles, um, since we're... Yeah. I want you to make a percept. Uh, you're, you're ahead, right? You're the one who's at the front? And very carefully so. Stealth check, please. Damn. 
car. You make your way, Greckles. Mm -hmm. Give me one second here, everybody. Do we get a map? Oh boy, do you get a map oh, as you no. enter oh, into the next area. Oh, 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 one second, let me just Oh, what a rich, filthy, stinking rich. Okay, well, if you fucking see Task, he's like just salivating with his mouth hung open. As Greckles and, and everyone, you guys look out and you see a sea of gold. You notice that each gold piece is letting off that same red hue. Wow. That's fucking a. That's a lot of shiny. You see Ron Fault now kneeling on one knee, his sword facing down, his head leaned over as if he's in slumber. You also notice Greckles. The girl, face down in the gold, part of her body covered in what looks like a crown, a few gemstones, some gold pieces. I'm gonna I'll, let me let me return. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back and tell everyone exactly what you just said. In addition, in addition to, roll another self check. Okay. Cool. You're moving again. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're a lucky boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is no, guys, this is my job. This is what I do for the group. You head back to the group. You relay the information. Alright, gentlemen. There's a sea of gold. The the altar is in the middle of this gold. The girl is there. She's face down and covered in gems. She probably doesn't have much longer. Ronfall is at one knee, sword buried. We might be able to get the jump on him, but there's no telling what we're in for. I want to remind everyone, Task, remember that, remember that this is a giant, and remember how they treat you. Borky, remember the girl. She's almost past. Is he holding on Panic. to his sword? Panic? Well, all I can say is, I hope your silver tongue can get us out of this situation. Oh, real fast. Now, now you were describing it like so. He's not so. The guy's not holding onto his sword, correct? It's it basically he's on a knee with his sword. Like he, he's he's bowing in front of, um, what what looked like. Money were those tendrils coming uh, out? What you actually see? And I'm so sorry. I should have described this. Is a long cylindrical altar with what mm -hmm. looks like a box cut inside of it, and you see now like tendrils all that that red mist now mm -hmm. spreading out to the different heads now you also notice that sorry i forgot to describe that as well on of uh, on these um i'm sorry i'm gonna take you back over to the, the map because okay that DM. would help <laughs> um on all of these things you see a variety of heads you see three giant heads you see one dwarven head and you see a red-haired human head which, unlike the other heads, looks fairly fresh, currently spired onto this pike. What's the how tall are these? What? How tall are these pikes? What? Uh, they're about nine feet tall. What? Oh, these are shit. so these are. Pikes. You're gonna make me work for that. I'll uh, go fast. What's the sixth head? There's there's three, three giant heads. A dwarf and the new fresh. A human dwarf head. and Ray's head, essentially. Okay, so what's the sixth head? You said there were six of them. The Oh, I'm just saying there's no, I never said there were six. Mm -mm. Oh, well, there, there, there's there... there's eight. There's eight pikes, but there's only there's only the Four. five First heads. Five. Okay. Yeah. Right. From uh, what so... I... mm, sorry. From what I can tell, the this this altar is feeding off of these heads. I don't know if this can work, but something that might work. If you guys can distract him for enough time, I can go in and try and remove the heads, disrupt the ritual, and try and disrupt whatever incorporeal slash corporeal form Ron Fault's taking. I, I have an idea. The, the entire reason for his existence here in the first place is that he, he wanted his legacy to be preserved, correct? Yes. I might be able to play to that. I might be able to. I might be able to play to his ego, with a song, perhaps. The the way most heroes and powerful figures are immortalized, is through song. 
Panic, we've already seen that he's under someone's control. Back at the river, we saw him being jerked back like a puppet. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, I agree with the bird. Just... No. Task, you've Don't always had it. the best ideas. Let's hear it. I don't know if this is a stupid idea or not, but Panic might be onto something. Even if it's undead, it's still being... Even if it's undead and its power is being controlled by something, the fact that it's here under the pretense of keeping a legacy, maybe we can use that to jerk it out of its fuck, uh, uh, jerk it out of its control. I still want to go for those heads and try. No, to no, no. It. I understand. No, I want. I am one hundred percent with you on that as well. The heads need to go, but I also like the idea that we could probably disrupt this thing's mental flow, especially if its lust to be remembered in legacy is so strong enough to make it go this far. Immortalization might be a good way to placate to it. If it's a risk you're willing to run, go for it. It's no skin off my beak. Oh, it's not my risk, it's his. What do you want me to do? Borky, I want you to do something very special for me, all right? Yeah, all right. What do you got for me? If things start going south, yeah. and Ron Fald attacks us, yeah. I want you to remember very, very well that that little girl's life hangs in our hands. I want you to use that to fuel every swing of your axe. Oh, okay. I'm basically trying to convince you that you should probably rage ASAP if things go south. Mm. And here's the and here's the oh, here's something else we could do. If we can keep this thing distracted enough, Task looks over to Tarisk. I want you to get the girl out of here. Uh, he looks at you, waiting for the whistle command. Fuck. Well, at the very least, I will provide some distraction. You might want to blow in that thing gently if you can. Yeah, uh, I'm task. gonna like, like right, right next to his head, and like, and toot it as lightly as possible. Roll a stealth check with disadvantage. Oh, oh shit. no, no, well, 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 stop, 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 hold on, hold on. No, real fast. No, it's too fucking late. I can't too do late. it now. We have okay. the plan. If it go if it goes south, we have the plan. I can't I can't fucking wait for this not to work. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. This is exactly why I got rid of that whistle. All right. Well, you're fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Twos are a very lucky thing to have. Oh. Roll. <laughs> okay, I'm, screw this dice. Give me a, an evil dice. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you keep yeah, that you dice. You can't re-roll. <laughs> yeah, no, no I can't. For future rolls. For no, future rolls. She, <laughs> no, she can't, she can't, she can't re-roll, but also unless, she doesn't have to worry about R and Jesus on the unless fucking... This is a, real, real fast, <laughs> unless but... this is a legendary creature. Zeno, what's your... The, um... Wait. Sorry, go ahead. I also want to continue on here, like, so, like, now that we all have our positions, but Tysk, what are you going to do then? I'm going to do what I do best. Shoot the apple out of the sky. So you're going to shoot the heads then? Is that what you're going to do? Yep. I'm going to, if, if, uh, I'm going to shoot the heads, and if that's not enough, suppressing fire. Also, oh, here we, hold on a second. Greckles. Mm. Hands him the lettuce. I don't know if this will work. But maybe this will disrupt something if you get it inside the fire. Or what if we replace the head? Replace yes. the head with the lettuce. Yes! <laughs> I love how you think, my diminutive friend. Let's do it. Why is he gonna try and eat the head? Because then he'll break his tooth. I like it. Oh, it's still a head, though. It's a head of lettuce, though. I wonder if that works. Hey! Sorry. Oh, my. The end. <laughs> All right, so what, what's the plan? What's the positioning here? All right, so what I'm going to do, Task, uh, if you can start hitting the left, I'm going to go right to try and get stuff. To, to, once once he's engaged, I'm going to try and rush over here, acrobatics up, and just grab the heads and get them as far away as I can. Because it was just, just Nitty, really really quick. It was the, it, the, the heads were actually like getting little tethers from the altar, right? Uh, the tethers are going all over the place, but the strongest ones are on the heads, almost gotcha. pressing them no, no, in a very okay. creepy way. I, I ask a quick oh, okay. question. I ask out a question. Wouldn't it be more worthwhile to shoot the tendrils rather than the heads? 
they're, they're incorporeal. incorporeal. Yeah, yeah. It won't uh, matter. Okay. Now, if we had a magical arrow now, or these, a magical weapon, that now, would work. Now, quick question, Nadine. Are these heads, like, shoved on pikes, or are they resting on top of pillars? They're impaled. Okay, so shooting them like, won't do anything. Like, skewered. So shooting them yeah, won't so do about... anything. So shooting them won't do anything, then. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's and they, and you would you guys would have known that going back. That was just something I didn't I didn't initially see. But no, I would yeah, sorry, that, that, that was my fault. And no, like, and this is this is where my curious like because like shooting shooting the heads won't do anything then. So like, how do we like? So now I'm wondering, wouldn't it be better for Bork to just uproot the entire things and just throw them? You got to tank this dude. I know I got to tank this dude, but wouldn't I'm just throwing it out there that that might be what I have to do. Um, what, well, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going up. They're nine feet. I could probably get, I could try to get up them. My acrobatics is pretty damn high. That would, uh, that would take and then like, pull, and just, would take like six turns. It would take like six turns. No, it wouldn't take that. Fail. It wouldn't take that long. If we can get, here's the thing. We have the element of surprise. If we go in, if I can, if I can get around, I can, uh, I can move. And then I would assume I, I, I would have a second action to start climbing. Round two, I could get a, I could get one of the heads off if I was successful. Quick question. Now I'm just gonna throw down the question here. This is not me in character. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is. I, don't, I hope I'm not metagaming right now with this. Um, but uh, like the your electric attack, uh, panic. Like, mm -hmm. can it? Would it affect the the head somehow if you get it? If if it's uh, hang, enough. Let, let me, uh, let me, ooh, I could probably only, I could probably, yeah, and we if, also if need Ray's, was... we also need Ray's head intact if we want that Uldrin to be happy too. Uh, it doesn't destroy them, I don't, I, uh, well, I guess that's up to Monty, um, it doesn't, it wouldn't destroy them, it would just push them. You're talking and about Thunder I, Wave? Yeah, and you, I'd have to be standing like... I have to be standing like here, and it at most it affect like three of these. You you calculate that it probably wouldn't force over these pikes, like over. It it would require way more force. Yeah, because they are they're stone. They are they are stone obelisk, style like altar also, things. <laughs> also also good. also remember, guys. There's there's no problem trying to run away from... have we ever seen this thing run or does it just walk like have we have we ever seen it run it just walks from what you've seen see that's the th that's that's the thing that gets me guys is that we could probably out maneuver this thing easily but i wouldn't get within 10 feet of it yeah like okay what well, you try it <laughs> all right so what okay we well i'm glad that we don't have a single strategy i feel like we have a lot, bunch of strategies that we're not 100 percent on right now um <laughs> If you guys if you guys can distract it, I'm going for those heads. I can I can probably uh, money. They, they weren't the the poles weren't like spiked or anything, were they? They were just regular pikes. Uh, they're they're like spiked. They're like a skewer. Like there's a right. point to the top. Right, but nothing prevented me from climbing up them. Like I, I, barbed I don't, wire or something I, I, weird. I, I, I no, don't. it's it's a smooth surface though. I don't know if this is a good idea. Just based on what the, else are we gonna? What else are we gonna do? I don't, I don't know because there's six of them. Like this is this is a, a fight against this creature. You'd have to like not fail a roll, like pull three, run over across the room, pull another three, and as, that's if the fucking summoning thing doesn't do anything to you, which we don't know. If All right, then did you want to destroy the altar? Oh, we might have to just destroy the altar. Like I don't. I think that might be. The Remember, same. she said she said to steal. Mine. Did I see any? Did I see the flame that the druid made mention of? Very dull in the box cut of the altar. Yeah, when you say box but cut, it was what just... is that? What does that mean exactly? I'm, yeah, I'm like it's by... like you, you mean like you know you ever seen a pizza oven? Yeah, yeah. Like how it's just like a thing you you put the pizza in. It's like a slot. There's like a slot in the altar, which is where this red incorporeal shit is coming out of, pooling out of this thing. Hmm. It's like the front of a giant cylindrical stone oven. And I was probably too far away to see if there was anything just like individually in there, right? You just saw just the mist it's coming like out a, of it, like a like a furnace almost. Yeah. yeah so we have to we have two options. I can either go disrupt the head, or I can try to stick my talon in there and pull out the fire. There's no telling what's going to happen with either of those two things happen. Uh... But remember, the druid tell, told us in Riddle to remove the fire, so that might be the better option.
there's nothing honestly guys there's nothing else we can really do we're not going to be able to kill this thing we've already been told that it can't die so we got can, we're gonna have to distract it in order to take it i the most i can do is is distract it and maybe possibly push it away to prevent it from uh yeah. to prevent it from hassling this, you guys uh, this while field, uh, this plan just there's nothing else we can do then do you want us to leave i don't know guys i'm sorry i'm just i'm just i'm really like i don't I feel like we don't have enough information on this. Like, Welcome to Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, right, boy. We have the information. Look, just this talk is my, speaking, this is my speaking first, this is my as first a, boss fight. This is my first boss speaking fight. As, I understand, yeah. but speaking as yeah, a yeah, player, yeah. When, tip, when the DM typically gives out hard information such as <laughs> you should do this, that's typically what you should do. All right. All right. All right. Now, Monty, if you screw me on this, you'll never hear <laughs> the end of it. I know I won't. <laughs> I know I won't. I no, I know there's gonna be. I am, I am anticipating a lot of checks when I'm doing this. Don't we? Ever? Yep. All right, guys, we need to be in position. Yeah. All right. Planning is is done. Wait, don't Who's we going where? So, so silly question. I'm um, sorry. I shouldn't be looking at the chat, but sorry. <laughs> chat made a suggestion that I. Uh, never mind. I shouldn't. Sorry. Anyways. That's meta. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, wiggling yeah. my finger at you. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm. All right. So um, I'm I'm walking in. I'm just walking in. All right. You have control of your guitar. tokens. Got got my guitar in my hand, and I'm gonna point right at this guy. At Ronfall? Yes, and I'm going to start playing a song. Uh, and, ode all right. his, and, and ode to his legacy. An ode to his legacy. Yes. Can I? Can I oh, oh God. <sighs> you yeah! begin to play a rock melody on your guitar. Uh, that's an automatic fail for the perception. The altar begins to flare with life. Oh shit. There's almost a pulsing to it as if it's awoken. Foom, foom, foom. Uh, do I roll performance? Go ahead. <gasps> oh. oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Behold the king. <laughs> the king of kings. Turn <laughs> it. Turn it. Let me know when right. I can start making my way over. Bow so. down to the, bow down to the king. As you are playing, it's a fantastic song. Like, Borky, you're kind of like headbanging a little bit at the it's side. Good. And the rest of you guys are like trying BPM. to stay stealthy. No effect on Ron Fault. He doesn't even move. And the forest just keeps pulsing now. Almost to the beat of the melody, actually, which is kind of impressive. Oh, yo. Yeah. Can, we, can we see that happening? Oh yeah, you can. It is igniting the entire room. All right, can I can I start making my way around and doing stealth as needed? Go ahead and roll stealth. Ooh. Yeah, that's oh, funny. Oh, nice. Dab. All right, control your character. Make sure to dab too. You gotta do that one nat twenty. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm generally here. Let me just point out where I'm gonna be going, so you know. I'm gonna be trying to keep my head low behind the pile, and just get behind to get to this one right here. All right, so you're moving like about right there. Yep. Yeah, uh, okay. oh, I wanna, hey, can I, can I, uh, not, I guess not yet, but I wanted him to move a little bit closer towards the girl. Uh, not Greckles, yet, as you turn the corner, you notice that Reinfeld, who you thought was sleeping, is currently staring completely forward blank. <laughs> oh, that's, that's creepy. All right, can I, can I start, can I start making my way up to the pillar? Go ahead. The moment right. your feet touches the coins, mm -hmm. oh, the forge blares with deep crimson light, and Reinfeldt slowly raises to his feet. Does anybody speak Infernal? I do. Yo! Oh, thank God. You do? Yes. Panic, as at the moment Greckle's foot touches the first coin, you hear the quickest voice go, Kill them. Shit. Everybody roll initiative. Ah, no, I, I, I rolled the stealth to move forward, but okay. I'll let you move forward. All right, one, two, three, four, five, five six. There we go. <laughs> also, on, <laughs> on the subject of wrestling theme songs, the way you said that you reminded me of, you think you know me. <laughs> <laughs> On this day, I see clearly. 
Everything. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, I got yeah. mine. There we go. Ooh, oh, boy. Jesus. Oh, oh God. I I'm caught up in the song right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> Makes the sense. king grinned red as he walked from the blaze. Can you guys hear the music I'm playing, by the way? I don't know if it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh I hear it. You might want to lower it a smidge. Yeah, it's a little loud. Sorry. I'm just doing initiative order. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So four. All right. This guy is disadvantaged on initiative, which he rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> wow. He fails and doesn't do anything. So he's fine. Okay. Put him there then. Oh, and then I need to roll for your friend there. For the doggo. For, for the drago. For the, for the drago. For Taurus, please. Should I, um... Question. I, I guess we could do this later if, if he fucking if we even survive this. Ooh. But I was gonna ask: uh, Is it possible that I can gain control of Tarsk? You already. If you have the whistle, you have control of him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want like actual? I'm gonna say for this DM control. All right, all right, fair enough. Um, Taurus does go first. <laughs> um, so I gotta make the initiative round here. Then Forky. Then Task, then Greckles, then Panic, then Ron Fault, and then the Altar. The Altar. Oh, yeah. the altar, of course, the Altar ever moves. I knew it. Alrighty. Taurus is up first. What do you want Taurus to do? I want Taurus. To not go, like, I don't want him to go near Ronfault just yet. I want him to, like, start heading towards this this way so that he can turn back around and get the girl and get the fuck out. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep his sheet open here. Or his book, I guess, open. He can move. He can move 30 feet. You learn that with traveling with him. All right. I want him, I want him to move, like, over to here. Right there? Okay. Yep. You can do full movement so he could go 60 feet. Oh, yeah, I want him to go 60. Over there. That's good. Perfect. Whoop. That's the wrong button. There you go. All right. Thank you. Full dash action. Borky, it is now your turn. You watch as Ronfalt raises up his, his ankle deep in gold. He turns over, and you see that infernal eyes. And for a second, there's a gleam in his eye as you feel that frightening effect. But you had a really good meal and a lot of wine. Yeah. You don't care. Today's your day. It is now your turn. Borky. It's bulky day. It's time to get orky. It's time to get borky. He re borky activates his rage. Oh, this All music right. with it. That music swelled at the perfect time. Yes! Borky, <laughs> borky right. walks forward. As uh, borky walks forward. Um, do I, you can, can I... walk 30 feet. Can I hit him? Can I get up right up to him? Oh yeah, you could beat the shit out of him. Oh yeah, you could get on him. Borky, wa Bor Let's go. Yeah. Borky goes right. and walks right up to his the front of him. Stares right at the mighty beast. Borky pulls out just a running swing with his axe at his left leg. Can okay. I target can I target limbs? Is that allowed? Yeah, sure. Go for Charlie Horse him. I'm gonna go for a Charlie Horse, I think. It'll it'll probably grow back if you sever it, but it'll it'll probably slow him down. I hit it. Great axe swing. Nice. Nice. That hits. Roll damage. 16 slashing damage. Nice. You go in and the aim, you're in such a rage, you don't realize the leg you're aiming for. You actually aim for the red leg that he has that's been replaced his, uh, his natural leg. I'm just gonna turn on the music a little bit. It's a little loud still. There we go. I know, it's pretty good. Um, and as you swing into the red leg, it actually hits like it's solid and there's a shattering sound as if there's glass as a large chunk of it sprays into the into the uh the gold almost joining the gemstones there Reinfeldt falters but uprights himself wielding his sword also plus two because of rage too so it's 18 yep. okay yep fucking nice haste made of gems task it is now your turn all right, so Let's... quick question. One of the chat, chat, is... chat, chat can't hear the, the music at all. By the way, now. I know I had to turn it down because I couldn't hear. Oh okay. 
There we go. I turned it back up. There you go. So, uh, here and here are where the, the heads are, yes? Or am I crazy? I will I will mark the heads, actually. Yeah, yeah please, do that. please do that. There's oh. one here, one here. There you go. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to be a little bit cowardice and go for the one towards the middle. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hold Let's on a second. I about to say, you got that ruler. Six. There we go. I want to go that way. I know this is going to do absolutely fucking nothing, but you know what? I want to at least go for the... I'm going to give it the good old college try since I'm this far away. I'm going to take a pot shot to at least try and arc the arrow to push... Or, or at least to fucking rend this thing away off this pike. Here goes nothing. Okay. I want you to roll a d100. You, why? I want you to roll a d100. Just, Just roll, roll it. it. You never know, buddy. Okay. You aim for the head, and then you feel a lightness to you. And you feel as if a phantom hand is taking. The head that you're looking at is the dwarf. Dwarven head, and you see as a as an incorporeal blue dwarven hand grasps like curls around yours, slowly shifts you, and you let loose the arrow. Roll damage. Nice. Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh my god, this is we sweet. We got ghost help. We got ghosts. Seven. You release the arrow. It hits the altar, and as it makes impact, it juts into there. Ron Fault lets out a horrific yes. cry. And Yo! Jackie, as you're as you're standing in front of him, you see now where it hit the altar in the chest of Ronfall, the equivalent space. There is now a phantom blue arrow. Oh, oh sweet! So now, now for clar for clarification, it hit the altar straight, right? Just hit the altar. Just hit the altar, yeah. Oh. And as you as you take two breaths, task, you turn, and the ghostly hand disappears. Quick, okay, now, can, can Borky understand what just happened? No, you're as raging. A, a, you have not a, a clue. So, oh. so as, a free, as a free action, can I scream? They're, they're assist. <laughs> I, I want to scream at, at everyone. They're assisting us. Go for the, uh, go for the, uh, go for the, yeah, I'm sorry. Go for the furnace. Okay. Greckles, it is now your turn. You hear Tass scream this out, and you hear you now see Ronfalt keeling over, barely clutching his weapon, and he twists his head and he stares directly at Task. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make my run over. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my I'm gonna pull out my um two short swords and I'm just gonna just cleave as fast as I can into this thing. Okay. Let's see here. Where Hold a hit. That hits. Oh yes. Can't can't sneak attack it. It's 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 probably all sentient. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's one, and then I've got my other short sword. Yep. No. Mm. Nope. No. Nope. You you swing with one, and you manage to cut into the stone once again. Borky, you hear another <gasps> like a gasping scream as a large gash cleaves up against Von Fault's ribs, showing this blue incorporeal slicing mark. You swing again with the other sword, but you barely chip the stone, the dark obsidian that makes this altar. Mm -hmm. Panic, it is now your turn. Um, okay. Is sprinting a full action? Yes. Yeah, dashing is a full action. You get double your movement. All right, I'm going to run up to the altar then. Okay. Uh, and does that leave you, does that leave me with bonus actions though? You get a bonus action, yeah. All right, let me, uh, let me see if this is bonus action. I was about to say, you could have moved 30 <laughs> feet and just start pissing off the altar. <laughs> Wait, so what's going on? Uh, I'm... He's looking up something. Yeah, he's looking oh, up. Okay. Yeah. I love this music. Oh, so good. A goddamn demigod? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, All right. We... Um, I guess 
since I can't do anything else at this point, I'm going to use my bonus action to, um... You could yell at Borky. Don't Seriously. die! <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Like, like, just, just, just yell to, like, attack the altar. I'm, uh... I'm going to use my, uh... My, uh... I'm going to make barbs uh appear all over my body with my um all right Bor Greckles, as you're stabbing the altar you see now panic running up through the sea and i'm of, still of shirtless coins, by the way who's still shirtless <laughs> and you watch as like a demonic porcupine these long barbous spikes like that like a like a bearded uh bearded dragon just start jutting out from his body Jesus. <laughs> he looks like a guy damn pain cushion <laughs> nice holy shit panic just went sanic he did <laughs> gotta go fast panic gotta go fast bar. uh what were, were his art were, were his arms behind his back as he ran i just need to know <laughs> <laughs> you know what let, let, let's just leave it to the consensus that everyone who does a full run just puts their arms behind them i think we can all agree <laughs> ron fault now taking another wound turns to the person who just struck his altar, which is you, Greckles. Oh, no! Yeah, but doesn't Borky get an attack of opportunity? He does, yeah. Swing Borky away, buddy. Borky an attack of opportunity. Wait, wait, take, the, take, the, wait, wait, take wait. that freaking leg. S -s Silly question. Can I try and grapple him and, like, do a German no. suplex to him? Oh, okay. Like... <laughs> you only get an attack. Sorry. Are you, are, you are you sure I can't do a German suplex no. as an attack? Okay, I'll stop. Roll, roll your attack. All right, Borky goes for a swing with the... Borky swings again at the same leg, by the way. Okay. Let me turn one second. Same swing. Great axe slash. Oh. That hits. What? It does? Uh, yeah, he's, big, he's big and he's slow. He doesn't even try to lean out of the way. He just takes the hits. Okay. Seven, seven slashing. Is there any okay. additional damage with rage? Uh, yeah, two. What, what, so I added that. Nine points of damage. But he is... You you smash into the other side of the leg, but it stays true. He storms over to you, Greckles. Oh, no. That is 12 and an 8. That's plus. Does a 12 hit you? No. A 16 needs to hit me because I am dual wielding. He rears up his sword, which is huge and heavy, and you look up at this colossal form. As it brings down his sword, you duck out of the way. An explosion of coins erupts around you as his sword is now embedded in this giant pile, and he leers up and looks at you with these glowing red eyes, thick with hate. You watch now as the forge in the middle begins to pulse, and you notice that as you look up at Rothfalt, his leg begins to reform. Mm. Ba -ba -ba. I need to grab some dice that I didn't have. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's back up the door. Ron Fault, you watch as all of the, the wounds you receive from Borky are sealed up completely as oh. the forge. Boom, boom, boom. And all those uh, tendrils now that were on the heads are now leaning towards Ron Fault, powering him. It is now Taurus's turn. Taurus, get the girl out of there. All right. <laughs> He does a grapple check, which the girl will automatically fail because she's unconscious at the moment. And then that was, that was 15 and then half would be, okay. So he gets her about there. He, uh, Taurus grabs the girl by the cuff of her apron and drags her out of the coins. Good. I don't. As long as Taurus can get her the fuck out of this fight, that's good. All right, Borky, it's now your turn. I'm stuck between two thoughts here. What I can do? I can do two things, three things actually. You don't know about you don't know about the altar yet. Even though we've been screaming about it. Oh right, yeah, no, so never mind. Right, Task said something. So, so, so literally, Borky's like we've been screaming, attack the altar to you, like to everyone in the room. I can throw. I can try. Do so you want me to charge at that that altar? 
But what about dude? What? You might as well just just honestly like your ranged attack is going to do probably significantly less damage than if you were to go up and just beat the every living shit out of it. Yeah, fucking at. lay your sword into this thing. Bork let 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 your let your hatred of this thing for abusing that little girl just fuel you. Borky charges forward with all of his strength. He jumps in the air and throws his axe as hard as it can hit. Hey. What? As you leap up, Borky, with your great axe, you see a shadow above you, a giant king wielding a giant blade, guiding your strike. Roll damage. Yeah! 11 slashing damage. Nice. That's 14. Wow. Damn. Nice. And as you do this, you hear another scream as Wanfalt, right down the center of his chest, a giant, jagged slicing wound comes right through. Deep blue. Task, it is now your turn. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck your legacy. Oh! Nice. nice. Roll for damage. Okay. You notice as you guys are firing these shots, they're not having a strong effect on the altar. It's quite hardy and strong, but it is taking damage. Ronfelt screams back as a large wound in his back opens and a phantom arrow, blue in shade, appears. Greckles, it is now your uh, turn. I, I'm sorry, one, oh. I'm sorry, I just wanted to do one free action. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, and since Panic is the closest one by, I at least throw my voice to him. Check what's inside! <laughs> Panic holds up the okay sign. <laughs> okay. Um, While still playing guitar. I just I just imagine you doing that anime gif of that guy with the hand doing the okie dokie thing. <laughs> just for <with> Panic. <laughs> so, okay, so... As far as d how disengage works, disengage your movement is the full round action, correct? Takes your full round action, yeah. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to do that. You so... kick off of Ronfold's blade backwards and you run off. Not this time, big boy. That's it. That's all I can do. <laughs> okay. Panic, it is now your turn. Hmm. Doing some math in my head real quick. Well, I mean, you're right. You're right by the uh, the altar. I Box know. fire, aren't you? I know. Uh, I just don't want this to hit Borky. Yeah. If it hits me, it hits me. But then he'll kill you too after he kills Greckles. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, panic. Remembering that, decides he's not going to take that chance. And uh, uh, he's going to reposition him his, himself right here. Okay. Wait a minute. Um, Where right. you were right here, weren't you? Uh, yes. Uh, Ron Paul would get an attack of opportunity on you if you went through there. Shit. Okay, so go back. Or you'd have, you'd have um, to go all the way around. around. Yeah. Uh, in that case, since I don't really. Don't you want? Don't you still? Uh, to, not, not to not to. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, Panic is going to cast um, Thunder Wave. All right. Oh, wow. And he's going to say, The king grinned red as he walked from the blaze. A traitor who lost both his name and his face. Thunder Wave. Uh, um, Babushki. Nice. Whoa. All right. Uh, I need you to roll a Constitution save, Borky. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You'll, you're, you're, you got a high con. <sighs> yeah, he survives that. Uh, he takes half. Uh, so, like Constitution save, uh, that is. I just click Constitution. That's the little tiny box next to your main stats, up near where your name is. Yeah, Ron Fault also needs to make a con. So I'm, he I'm, did. So he passed did. it with okay, flying okay. colors. Uh, so the, so the well, tiny box is to... okay. So I'll click this. I hope I don't fail. Nice. Nah, you saved. Nice. Nah, nah, you're fine. 
you do take uh you do take half damage so you do take uh four points of damage i do as does ron fault yeah oh okay that does it do damage also to the, the yeah altar? it does damage yeah it. it's a it's a big old cone okay yeah and they'll hit the it's altar a, as it's, well it's a, it's a box actually oh the altar uh automatically fails its constitution save <laughs> yeah <laughs> do i blow the altar away <laughs> He's pretty impressed. What I am! All right. You see the altar fucking like hit the sky, and you see Greckles look up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep All it right. going. All right, that's my turn. Ron Fault, angered now, his his teeth scowling. Christine White, strangely enough, he is going to move past you, Borky, provoking another attack of opportunity. Oh no! Uh, Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Okay, put... Get him! <laughs> Great axe swing! That hits. Oh, wow. Alright, 12 slashing damage. Nice. It is going... He is going to leer up his sword and swing down his blade. Oh, that's a natural 20, and that's... Oh, no! An 18 plus 6, that's 24. On who? On panic. Oh, no. Wait, how? How? Wait, whoa, whoa. Natural how? 20. Panic's, panic's way over here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. He's right there. Oh, I, why is your icon over there then? Uh, probably, re probably re browser lag. Yeah, reload roll twenty if it does that. All right. I um, panic <laughs> with oh, like no. half of his stomach gone, slumps onto the ground. Uh, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Additionally? No, you just take 12 points. Oh, oh god! I, th I thought you this, said... This guy has what's called eternal exhaustion. He has disadvantage on all attacks. He Ooh. rolled a natural 20 and an 18. Oh. Oh. You said, so he does... you said 24. Yeah, but that's to hit. On top of, like, his, his bonuses. Oh, thank god. god. Oh, you god. scared! You scared! You you scared, you scared me for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. You get hit for... Oh, great. I lost count. Sorry, it's, eight plus, it's 14 points of damage. Bludgeoning damage. Oh, well. <laughs> Rod so, I'm not swings, doing so good. Rodfault swings his sword to the side. Forky's in your way. You can't move, and you get slammed in your side. You feel the cracking of bones under your flesh. Uh, Barb Hyde, though, has an ability to it. We should check that real quick. Um, yeah. That's if I get grabbed... Or if if I grab someone, hang on. Uh, as a bonus action, you can cause small barbs to protrude all over your body, or cause them to retract. At the start of each of your turns, while your barbs are out, you deal one d6 piercing damage to any creature grappling you, or any creature grappled by you. Ah, okay, gotcha. You also gain proficiency in the intimidation skill. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I make sure. Um. So he hits you pretty bad. The altar begins now, even furiously. Boom. Boom. Foom, foom, like a like a rapid heartbeat. Yeah, fully healed. Oh, you gosh. watch again as the scars on Ron Fault, as the tethers lead into Ron Fault's body disappear. The blue wounds are staying though; those aren't going away. It's the ones that are completely natural that are being cleansed. Yeah, buddy. It is Taurus's turn. Taurus, get the girl out of here. Keep going. Okay. I don't Sorry. care if he leaves the fight. Stay the get the fuck out of here with the girl. He gets half movement, so he can go fifteen feet. So we'll go about there. And Borky, it's now your turn. Okay, I have a spare action and my attacking action, right? You have attack, a bonus, and you have a free action and a movement action. Okay. A bonus action. Run, panic. Borky That'd be a free action. That's free. That's free action. Yeah, free, free. Borky yeah. barks at panic. Fucking move! And, Bor and then Borky, following his orders, decides to keep swinging away at the the altar. Clearly, it's doing okay. damage. Clearly, it's doing damage. And I just really wish we I knew if the he if taking out the heads would help, but we met again. It's too. We we know how to fight. We know how to fight this thing. All right, all right. Borky swings his mighty great axe down again. That hit. Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, it. God, almost, almost a perfect nat twenty. And you're still pissed too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's still raging. 
12, four, oh my god. 14. 14, and is that, that's, yeah, it's slashing, okay. Okay. Task, it is now your turn. Alright. Ronfall so, 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 now so, 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 his does, does shoulder. Anything, sorry, does anything happen? Oh, sorry, you were saying, sorry, I cut you off. Uh, Ron Falt's shoulder cracks inward where he has his phantom red limb. It's cracking inwards. You see the, the incorporeal form of his arm flicker for a moment as a large blue bruise begins to spread across his back like the crackling of porcelain. All right, so that was two arrows that got sunk out of that. Take another shot at him. Move over that way. Yo, what's up? Look over at Crackles. Nice! Oh! Oh! No. Oh. Yes. That is eleven. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You let loose an arrow. It goes completely through the altar and shoots out the other side. Panic <laughs> as you're standing there. You hear next to your ear as you watch an arrow just pew, clatter onto the ground. Ronfall grasps his chest as there's now a hole all the way through his body. Yeah! Deb! Greckles, it is now your turn. All right, big boy, try this on for size. I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move... The... I've got that... I got that... I'm gonna be chucking that flask of acid at this thing. Okay! Um, I wanna mm. be... I wanna be safe enough away that I don't get hit by the splash, so what technically would I need to be? Uh, uh I don't... There is a splash. Oh, no, there... Uh, yeah, I didn't know if it was a small AoE or not. Uh, oh, it's 20 feet. Yeah. Okay. I just want to get close enough that it's going to be really hard to miss hitting this thing. You probably have to back up. Oh, it's a 20 foot... Oh, okay. But yeah, I it's going to... I think gonna... it is. Let me double check that. Sorry, acid. I just read that, but it seems a little crazy. That's actually... I, I, I think that's a brilliant fucking idea, by the way, to use the acid. Holy shit. Because it's not going to hit you guys. It's going to hit the altar and not... That's going to hurt you. Oh. That's going to hold... Uh, okay. Sorry, it, you can throw it up to 20 feet. Okay. Okay, acts, so I was... It acts as an improvised weapon. Okay, so I was there. Um, so it's gonna be what, like a dex? Roll, roll a, roll a d20 plus your dexterity modifier. Plus your dex, which uh, is... Which is, uh, bonus of four. So it's nine. Sadly, you just miss, and it shatters... Shit. ...onto the... ...gems. God damn it. I believe that's the cube size, I'm not sure. Yeah. So did it, does it, was it a single target or does it splash? Uh, I just closed the tab again. I was just wondering if there was going to be any oh, residual wait, damage. sorry, it's just, yeah, it's just to hit it. So it just splats on the ground, there's no residual left over thing. Sorry, I misread that twice mm. now. <laughs> No, you just miss. It splashes on the ground and seeps into the gold coins, which, surprisingly, don't dissolve with the acids. Um, there's a few wooden things that do. Well, I've got nothing else but movement, so... You have a movement and a bonus. I'll just curse and be done with my turn. God damn it. Okay, panic. It is now your turn. Back up and heal. Holy shit question does the wand of cure light wounds uh, count as a bonus action uh it counts as an action i believe to use in magic move and do move and heal i seriously like porky grabbed you like move you all right you took a blow too, um, too severe let me just do some math real quick here i'm gonna turn my light while you do math one second Would drinking a potion be a bonus action? Uh, I believe so, yeah, actually. Okay, all right. Um, then uh, Panic clutching his clutching his wounds and kind of, like, not... He, he's trying to get away, but he his legs are just not really cooperating with him right now because of the blood loss. He's going to move up you, here. You do a disengage? Would, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, because you, you can Otherwise, disengage, yeah. disengage, move, bonus action, potion. 
Uh, no, disengage takes your. Uh, no, right. No, you're right. Yeah. So, so, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage. Uh, how far can I do that? Thirty. Uh, you can go your your standard movement, essentially. Disengage is the action to like guard yourself as you're running away, and right. then your movement is your actual movement itself. I'm gonna stand up here then, and I'm going yeah, to. Can... I'm going to chug down my healing potion. Okay. Be back. Big money. Uh, by the way, while he's doing that, Nadine, how about how uh -huh. how how much of Ron Fault is like now starting to show off that glassy surface? Would you say? Uh, the blue or the red? The blue. Uh, a significant chunk at this point. Um, there's still a lot of him that's corrupted. A lot of him that's still okay. going. He's got a fucking hole in his chest, my dude. He does. <laughs> I love uh, it. Do you so. recall what the potion is? It's it just says healing potion. Uh, it's it two D. Two D four plus four, I believe, is what it was. All them bones. Oh, nice. yes. Them, them good bones. That's good bones. I'm back up to 15 now. Good. Well, you have, the, you have the extra health, don't forget, too. Right. Yeah. That's above my That's above, above my max. I had nine. Now I have 19. Wait, does the healing potion go into the max? Yes. Yes. Oh, so, so with, then... the, with, the, with the feast that you got, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Sweet. You're back up to full health. Yeah. Cool. All right. Ronfelt now looking at the hole through its chest, turns up and looks directly at you, Task, and begins lumbering forward, dragging its sword behind it, kicking up coins in its wake, kicking over what looks like to be the remains of thrones, small dwarven thrones, Ooh. and crowns. Does panic and it attack forward? Does panic and attack of opportunity? Yes, yes he does. Ooh, sweet. Oh. Oh no. You, uh, I'm gonna roll the severity of this actually, just to be fair. Oh yeah, okay. You go to stab with your rapier as he strides close to task, and it snaps as it makes contact with the red gem-like, uh, incorporeal. Well, it's corporeal, but the the mystical demonic matter. You just hear patink as it breaks and bends. It doesn't shatter, but it bends. Oh no, dude! Panic All just, right, you know what? Panic just throws his rapier down in in exhaustion, and he's not doing well right now. Before you throw this roll, Tass screams in draconic. Do your worst. Uh, he doesn't. He's not close enough to hit you. Oh so. yeah! <laughs> I have uh, to wait. Strafe him. Yeah. Strafe him. No, no that him. that that's even better. No, taunt him. Do your worst. The altar, whew, whew, whew. Uh, Borky, where you're standing, they all sweep through you. All the tendrils sweep through you. You feel a, a hotness inside of you as it, as it creeps through your body and reattaches itself to Ron Fault and heals him again. Uh, I imagine that Taurus is dragging the girl out. Get, get him out. Get her okay. out. Get her out of here. You watch at a distance over through the legs of Ron Fault as Taurus leads the girl out of the arcway, the doorway. Good. Out of sight. Borky, it is now your turn. Beat the shit out of it! All right, now, I've had, I've had, that was four turns. Now, uh, I that, that rage lasts four turns, correct? How many rages do you get? Two a day. There you go! Pop it again. Borky feeling those weird tendrils crawl into his body. He's like, it really bugs me. The only one who's allowed to be inside me is me. Borky Plus. activates his rage. Oh. <laughs> Swing away, big guy. This is this is like this is like the end of uh, that one movie. You know the movie. Um, signs. Keep swinging. Just swing away. Oh yeah. Borky swings away. Oh! oh! Oh my God! Holy. Roll it. Fucking yes. Uh, Vintage Borky. Oh, oh, oh. And what else do I roll, Nadine? Uh, roll another d12. Another d12? Don't mind if I do. Oh, shit. Did I not roll oh. my... Did I not roll my extra damage for my other attack because I got a natural 20? No, it's it's an orc. It automatically ability. does it. Oh, okay. Borky, 
Forky has a racial ability that has brutal critical, where he rolls an additional dice oh. on top of the crit itself. I just did. That's that's like thirty seven. That's I can't math. That's sixty plus twelve. That's twenty eight. Twenty eight plus, 28 plus nine is thirty seven. Yep. <laughs> Cut in half. Wait one second. I got I gotta grab a calculator because I, I haven't done math like this in years. <laughs> when <laughs> when the DM grabs a calculator, you know something significant is happening. Let me just Holy reiterate. Holy crap! You rear to the side, and as you do, you turn Vorky, and you see the incorporeal form of a human paladin wielding a mace for a split second. As you crash in, cleaving, your axe goes a decent six inches into the altar. Parts of the stone drop down kung, 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 onto the ground. Ronfall shrieks and it shakes the ground. The coins rumble as he clenches and his arm, his incorporeal one, just shatters and falls to the ground. Oh, yeah. By the way, Tash looks up at him and smiles and goes, it wasn't good enough. By the way, I'm still raging, so there's a plus two on that, too. <laughs> that's true. That that's means 39 that's... points oh. of damage. Oh my of damage. god. Okay. Um, Task, it is now your turn. <laughs> Run, buddy. So what, so what, So the arm not holding the sword fell off then? No, he's still holding... His sword is in his real hand. The one that wasn't holding a sword is completely shattered to the ground. I am rage. I'm bulky. I don't think... Tass looks at him. I don't think it was good enough, asshole. What are you aiming for him? I guess you have to no, aim for him. No, no, no. I'm not aiming for him. I'm aiming for the... the... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I grabbed your token. I meant to put the ruler there. My <laughs> yeah. bad. Alter. I can go up to 100. Yeah, but he's in your way. Mm. Oh, wait. Hold on. Then I'll fix myself. Hold on. Don't shoot through me. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 no, I shoot through so panic. I, was, so, I think so he's got I, good so, luck today. So I was here. I so one, fun. two, three, four, five, six. Right here. That'll do it. Uh, I want you to reroll the attack, though, just to be fair, if that's okay. It wasn't... All right. I, okay. That hits. Said even my final form. <laughs> Plus... Is that no, no? That's not a plus two. Never mind. You guys watch as Task, the tiny Cobalt Ranger, points. The part now fallen open, the glowing incorporeal demon's essence, wide open. Task, you once again pull out your bow, and you feel yourself in the shadow of a giant wielding an even greater bow. And as you narrow your eyes, you can you you catch a glimmer of Ron Fault, the incorporeal shade over his eyes gone, and he looks at you, and you can almost hear a voice in the back of your mind go, please, end it. You let loose the arrow, it collides with the inner parts of the altar, and explodes, shattering it into a thousand pieces that erupts. Yeah! Yeah! And as it does, it shatters, crumples to the ground. Ron Falk instinctually shrieks, grabbing his face in horror as his, his incorporeal, yet corporeal parts of his body just erupt into shatters and, and these little shards of glass that scatter across the ground. He falls to one knee, his sword clattering and falling to the side. He looks up at you, Task, and you hear a faint voice. Thank you. As he falls down face first into the stone and you watch as that blue, all the blue wounds in his body envelop him and slowly fade into his sword. Stand up, look at him and fucking salute. As you do that, everything around you begins to rumble. All the tendrils now, all these red incorporeal forms are now coming into where what was once the altar and are scattering and are lost. You hear shaking above, around, below you as pieces of this kingdom now are kung, kung, falling next to you. Tas, uh, Greckles, as you're standing there, one of the pillars falls down, almost crutching you, but you almost, you, you, you're just out of the way. I want everybody to make a investigation check. You can grab one thing before you guys have to get out of here. Oh. Ba-boom! 
Nice. Double ba boom. Uh, investigation. Yeah. Kind of a boom. Oh no. Ah, uh, you are panicked. You are so intent on your wounds at the moment. You just, you can't seem to focus on what's going on. Can it's... I just? Oh, I, I, I guess since I crit failed, never mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna find some appropriate music for this current moment because it is kind of FF F nine run. FF9 run, yeah. Where <laughs> People suggesting Indiana Jones as well. <laughs> Running in the 90s. Uh, you know, we're gonna do the this. Uh, as the kingdom begins to crash all around you. Um, Task, you manage to quickly clamber up and grab the head of Ray off of its pike. Yeah! Um, who else in investigation? I did. Okay, you all pass. Um, let's see who's gonna get it. Uh, Greckles, as you step forward, almost being crushed to death, you notice a sword with the hilt of a dragon's head coming off. It looks brand new. It's untouched by the corruption. I grab it. Uh, Borky, as you stare around, you're surrounded by gold. You notice a crown. You notice a bag. Which do you choose? Oh, you tell me, giving me what's in the box? What's in the box? What's the box. In the box? What's, what's in, in the, the box? box? The box. The box. Borky takes the bag of unknown shit. All right, you grab the bag. Everybody, roll athletics or acrobatics checks of your choice. Shit. Ba Boom. Bam. Oh my god. All right, acro. Wait, uh, athletics. For acrobatics me. or athletics? Which is one is roll it. Yeah. Jesus. All right, you guys all pass. You guys immediately begin to run. Uh, as you guys run out of the room and you just hear things colliding, crashing down, as if 1,500 years of age is now caught up to this kingdom and its king. And you're running. Borky, as you're running with the bag around your shoulder, you reach over um, to where Taurus is and you scoop up the girl. She weighs nothing. Oh, oh, you just oh. throw her over your shoulder and you oh. guys start barreling. Oh. Things start crashing in front of you. You guys vault over them. Stone is crumbling. You notice as you reach the main foyer, the bird's nest now, sadly, is completely destroyed. No! You keep oh, running. God. The tapestries are blank white tattered linen and they fall <laughs> of, like on the ground, clattering with their wooden holdings, completely stained in age. You run up into the front. Everybody roll an acrobatics check again. Or athletics? Including Borky. Uh, acrobatics. <laughs> Sixteen, nineteen, eighty. You all, as the entire thing collapses, you all burst out, land, three-point landing. One of you guys does like a front flip and lands on the ground as you make it out and the kingdom behind you crashes to the ground. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> Stride <sighs> forward in our diamond-covered boots. We did it, gentlemen. That's nice. Oh. You see how I killed that demigod? Ugh. Hey, we did it, big guy. Ah, oh, it's oh. true. Oh. That's what you get you guys... for touching me in a place I don't like. My Everybody, soul. whoever whoever wants to do it, roll perception real quick. Alrighty. I got a good one, so there we are. There nice. we go. Uh, as Borky is kind of celebrating his victory and panic, is like, oh god, death. Uh, Greckles and Task, you look over and you see the faint blue form, six of them, standing, <gasps> gazing at you. And then they, one by one, they fade, leaving the largest in the middle that you recognize as a once renewed Ron fault. And he looks back as the, the spirits leave him and he bows and he watches his spirit trickles through the ruin and out of sight. Salute! Yeah. Deep bow, very deep bow. Borky just kind of puts his fist out, which is what was respect is for orcs. Panic goes for a bow, but he falls flat on his face. <laughs> and as the <laughs> sound, <laughs> uh, actually, it was just uh, Greckles and Task that saw this. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh. Um, as you guys stand in the woods, what was once still, as the adrenaline wears down, you feel a light breeze come through. 
You think we would pass? You think we would pass as druids? Nah, I don't think we can pull that off. I think I'm green enough. Uh, Task, you notice that um, Taurus is currently sitting, uh, front legs crossed, next to the girl who is not moving. All right. Oh, let's, let's tend uh... to the... yeah. Let's tend to this. Panic slowly gets back on his knees, and he casts healing word on her. Okay. Babushki. Nice. Okay. Speaking nice. of Taurus, uh, good job. As you look at her, she's got cuts and bruises, and as you use the healing word, that removes a lot of those ailments, but she she's doesn't awaken. She's, she's breathing heavily. Her her breathing's labored. Her face is washed with fever. Uh, <sighs> shit. What should we do? Should we take her to the druid lady in the tree? Yes, yes, yes. All right, Borky grabs her and they runs off immediately. All right. Caref carefully, I hope. Yeah, so, you know, as tenderly as an orc can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you mean, like, grab by the hair and cape man or all the way to the fucking tree? I'll grab her around the midsection! <laughs> you guys uh, make your way through the forest, and eventually you make your way towards the roots of the mother tree where you spoke with Raul, and she's standing, uh, currently surrounded by a ludicrous amount of animals, a lot of birds, just her entire head and shoulders are covered with birds, and as you guys approach, the animals scatter out of fear. And what she looks down to you, and she smiles. Well, what do you know? We survived. I'm quite surprised. Didn't expect it, did you? <laughs> Not really. We get that a lot. We need help. This girl is... Ha we found the girl. As you said, she's got ripe with fever. Help her out, please. The druid steps forward and uh, looks to you, Borky, and she, she gestures, please put the girl on the, on the ground. Borky does very carefully. She uh, drifts a hand over the girl's forehead, which is just completely sweat. Um, her, her cheeks are thinned. Um, her eyes are closed. She doesn't seem to be aware of what's, what's going on, more or less. She's just very... She's pretty sick. Uh, the druid looks, and she goes, I can aid with this. Come inside to my home. And she scoops up the girl in her, her own arms, and she's very small, and leads you guys into a um, hollowed-out tree near the mother tree, and lets you guys inside. Task wants to look at the parchment. Uh, the uh, alavast parchment. The contract. All right. As you lift open the contract, you see the area where it had deal with thief. It says in pristine gold, shimmering magic arcane letters, contract completed. Yeah! Yes! But we still it, have a... Beneath it, there's a bullet saying additional contract requirements to be met. That's yeah. fair enough. Yeah, we still got to give the head back. That's fine. <laughs> and probably the sword. No, oh, well, we could agree. We could agree upon that. We can talk about that. Now, what's in the bag, though? Borky puts right. the bag down and opens it up. Uh, you open it up and it's it's a backpack. Oh, Borky pulls out the. You backpack. You actually notice that it's actually a backpack that the uh, the giant actually had like put on his side like a pouch. Mm. Did you just get a bag of holding? Put your hand in it. Put your hand in it. What, what if there's something scary inside? Borky, put your hand in it. Fine. It could be Panic shiny. Put, Bork, no, Panic Bork, puts Bork, his hand in it. Bork, Borky puts his hand in it, too. As you put your hand in it, Mary Poppins style, your hand just keeps going. Until like... Yes! <laughs> this appears to be a bag of holding. Holy crap. Now, I heard about these. He says you could put as many macaroons in here as you want. That's just correct. I think it looks good on me. Borky ties it to his side. Keep it. Hi, Task. Let's, let's... Task. What up? Nice job. Yeah. And Borky keeps walking inside to follow the elf. Panic is shoving uh... his various instruments into the bag of holding. Oh, thank <laughs> God for this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys shove all your extra shit in there. Whenever I, it's my bag. You didn't say you could put it in there. Ah, fine. It is our bag. <laughs> As you guys enter, the druid already has the girl laid out on a on a blanket. 
um, a woven blanket, and she's currently rummaging through containers, glass, potion bottles, and she's brought out a Morton pestle, and she begins to kind of prepare something. And she she very like you're you're impressed because you're a soldier, but she points to uh, you working. Goes, there's a well outside. Pump water. You, I need you to get that fire going. And she points to you, um, panic, and then points to her tiny little fireplace. If, if the, okay, pump the water, but where do I put the water? Do, the bag of holding. Uh, there's a bucket. There should be a bucket next to the okay. the, the pump. Just okay, go. okay, 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 okay. Poor Porky runs. Greckles right. goes with Greckles goes with him to make sure he understands what he has to do. Okay. <laughs> Borky Panic grabs the bellows and starts tending to the fire. Borky starts right. jumping up in the air and pushing down on the on the on the well as fast as he can. Tass calmly Tass calmly walks up. What needs doing? Uh, she looks over. She's. Can you tear up those rags, please? Aye. And wh where'd your bird friend go? He went af He went after. Uh, he went after the orc. What do you need from him? <sighs> Okay, forget the regs. I need you to grind this with the Morton pestle. On it. And she begins, when she leaves, she goes through a another door, a big, large, oaken door, and you hear, once again, clattering. You hear something break on the ground, and you guys begin to do your duties. Uh, Borky, I want you to make a strength check. Oh, wow, okay. Panic, I want a survival check. Oh, fuck. A strength, okay. And then Task, I want a he uh, medicine check from you. <laughs> Oh, strength. Oh, that's a strength save. Nice. Sorry, sorry, that's a save. Uh, can can I use that or nah? Or just roll. Oh, no, you roll, roll a strength check. All right, well, that's still high. There we go. Uh, you like pump the water, Borky, and you almost like you're like, oh, I'm gonna break this if I don't ease up, and you ease up, and you manage to get an entire bucket full of water, which you hobble back into the house. As you hobble back, Panic is currently like, what the heck am I doing with the, with a, a flint and tinder, um, and. After a while, you eventually get it, but it's just like you're really smacking two rocks together. In fact, you, know you notice that. You know what? I cast thaumaturgy on the flames to make them to make them <laughs> uh, more intense. All right. As you as you realize, oh wait, I'm just smacking two regular rocks together. You grab the actual flint and tinder and then <laughs> manage to light the fire. <laughs> uh, and then medicine. That's a good medicine. You manage to grind up the the leaves and whatnot in a fine powder. And as uh, Raul returns, she takes the more pestle and she doesn't even like she's you can tell she lives on her own because she just grabs it out of your hand and then goes over and begins mixing it with a liquid that uh it's like a clear sort of um creamy white liquid sort of and she begins mixing it and be immediately becomes kind of a pink uh green like purple deep deep kind of muddy pink color and uh as she does this it's like with such ferocity like you're watching a pro um, she goes over to the child, and, uh, she turns, she goes, the water, where's the water? Right here, right here, I got it right here. Thank you. She takes the, the water, and she pours a little bit into, um, a small container where she's keeping now this, this medicinal treatment. Rolling. She pours some in. Gonna, gonna get the leather out, since she didn't ask yet. And the leather? What? Sorry? The, the cloth, you said. Remember, she wanted to tear up, she wanted to Oh, yeah, cloth. tear up the cloth. Tear up. Yeah, you manage to just tear it into pieces. It's just cheap linen. And as she does this, she she lifts up the girl, holds open her mouth, and then pours. Um, it's a very herbal scent to it. Um, you can definitely smell like the uh, medicinal qualities to it just from the air alone. She pours into the girl's mouth. The girl kind of coughs and like spits some of it out. And you can hear a little kind of shushing and elvish some some words you don't recognize. And um, she turns back to you, Borky, and goes, "How much water is left?" Uh. I actually don't understand the question. Like, I gave you the whole bucket of water. Like, do you mean, like, outside or, like, in the bucket of water? Like, in, in the bucket. I, Borky looks in. What does he see? Half the bucket is full. Half? It's half empty. All right. Uh, you, uh, Tiefling, there's a pot. Can you get it for him? Put the water in the pot and begin to boil it. All right. You panic does so. Okay. You guys put the pot on. You pour the water and it begins to boil. And as it gets kind of midpoint, she walks over, grabs it uh, with a, a two cloths and brings it over and places it on her floor. And she turns to you, Tess, and goes, the cloth, please. Passes the cloth. Uh, she begins to take the cloth and begins to clean the girl, clean wounds, what wounds remain, um, wipe up the sweat. Um, let's do some checks for this. Okay. Okay. She quickly leaves the girl and steps back. 
turns to you and she goes, it will be night soon. You can rest outside if you wish. The animals will protect us. Though, now with that thing gone, we have nothing to fear. Head outside. Yep, head outside. I, I'd like to take a nice hard look at this sword and see if I feel any different wielding it. Uh, you don't. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, now this means I can't really do hunting proper now that I have some downtime. Hmm. Panic, could you have a look at this sword? I can try. Just curious if there's any magical property to it. Oh, um, also, Panic retracts his spikes. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that happened on the way back. Yeah, I imagine Why do I that. imagine Panic I imagine... now rolling like Sonic the Hedgehog out of the tower? <laughs> <laughs> But when you have to go fast. <laughs> shirtless too, he did this. Oh yeah. Totally so he shirtless. Fucking, so he he fucking pirouetted out of the explosion. <laughs> Half the team is naked for this fight, let's be honest here. <laughs> right? <laughs> True. Um you can you roll a knowledge arcana. Uh panic on the sword. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Not a clue. It is a nice sword. sword. Try, then. It is a very nice sword. It's probably expensive, no. but you have no idea. It's a pretty good sword. It's probably expensive. <laughs> is it? Is this like? Is this like long sword sized? It's a long sword. Yeah. Okay. Enough about that. How are your wounds, soldier? Uh, panic looks down at the gushing wound in his hip. <laughs> Not not really gushing anymore, but still like trickling blood, just like hurts. Tass sits down, picks up a rock, and starts shaving off the end of an arrow. Well, look on the bright side; you can sing about this. This is true. I got a pretty bad ass song you call it. Hip check to the demon god. I like that. You know, that actually makes me feel a little better. Thank you. That's good. Makes we'll you feel any better? Here. This is the first time uh -huh. nothing hit me. <laughs> well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. I need that. As you guys settle in for the night, the um, nightfall overcomes the forest. You feel easy. You feel relieved as hell. There is still a part of you that worries about the influence this thing had on such a strong entity. Uh, Greckles and Task, there's a piece of you that kind of wonders what happened as you made your way out when you saw the, the sight of Ron Fault in his, essentially his prime, and you watched as the other spirits around him faded upwards. But he didn't. He went down back through the rubble. I'd like to go back through, just if there's time to do it, and just scout the area to see if there's anything of interest or worth. Uh, you would sacrifice your rest to do that. Ah, uh, okay. You, you would take a point of exhaustion if you were to do that. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't plus, know. If... Plus, I'll say, I'll say, as you were making your way out, I mean, like with how much, how large that structure was and how it collapsed. Mm -hmm. You would need, like, a thousand Borkies to, to get in there. <laughs> All right. What a thing. What a thing to imagine. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really no. curious what that, out of character, I really wonder what that crown was. Yeah. Me too. I, was I like, have it right here, but I'm not saying anything. Crown or oh. what's in the box. <laughs> I chose what's in the box. Bag of holdings helpful. That will be very creative. No, it, it really is. No, it's super helpful. So I, I guess, I guess since Task was the only one who saw that, the the spirits as well, I guess he would just look over at fucking Greckles, just be like, "You feel it too, huh?" It is quite curious why he stuck around. Hmm. The unfortunate thing about this whole thing is, is that now that, oh Lord. Now that now that his spirit's still lingering around, and this thing did have a contract with him, I'm afraid that he actually went into his realm. 
I don't, I'm not sure if this might be the last we'll actually see of either this demon or even Ron Falt himself. Well, if it ever comes to it, we could take the fight to them. Well, one thing at a time. I have a bounty I need to collect. <laughs> you know, for a group like us, for a loudmouth behemoth, for an even more loudmouth fanboying, I don't even know what to make of him. <laughs> for a small fry like you and for an asshole like me, we make an interesting group. Hmm. That's fair enough. Which is good, because it would be nice to have actual friends on the surface. Maybe it is time to be a little more trusting. Well, I'd say we have to trust each other now. We've pissed off a demigod. Forky's asleep. Is he vengeful? What did I know? Uh, roll knowledge, religion. By the way, the stream's dead, guys. Wow. What? He came back, didn't it? 